Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is first part of lecture number 16 and in this lecture we will study circuit and waveforms of one phase half wave one control rectifier with RL load having freewheeling diode. So this is the circuit diagram of rectifier. In this circuit di diagram we see that this RL load is connected in parallel with this freewheeling diode. Okay. This is main diode and this is supply voltage. The supply voltage is applied to this whole circuit. The supply voltage Vs is equals to Vn sin omega t and this dark black line is waveform of supply voltage. We will see the operation of this rectifier circuit in three angular slopes. First, first we will see the operation of this rectifier circuit from 0 to pi. Then we will see the operation of this rectifier circuit from pi to beta. Then we will see the operation from beta to 2 pi. Okay, first we start with the circuit operation from 0 to pi. From 0 to pi, this positive half cycle of sinusoidal wave applied to this main diode. So when positive half cycle is applied, this diode get positive potential at anode. When positive potential is applied to this diode, this diode get forward bias and act as short circuit. Now during positive half cycle, negative polarity reach to the anode of this freewheeling diode. That's why this freewheeling diode get reverse bias. So we can conclude that from 0 to pi, this main diode is short circuited and this freewheeling diode is open circuited okay so when this main diode is short circuited then this voltage source vs will appear across this rl load or we get v naught is equals to vs and that is equals to vm sin omega t so here it is the waveform of v net v naught we see that v naught is equals to vm sin omega t from 0 to pi now output current I0. Here this is the equation of output current. This equation has already been told to you in my previous lecture. That lecture was on one phase half wave one control rectifier with RL load. But from exam point of view there is no need to memorize this derivation. But you must know three points regarding this output current that first is we get output current up to beta beta lies between pi to 2 pi and third point is that maximum value of this output current occurs between pi by 2 and pi suppose this is pi by 2 okay so this maximum value of output current is lying between this pi by 2 and pi and this beta is lying between this pi and this 2 pi. Okay. Now next point is drop across diode. Here I told you that diode act as short circuit during 0 to pi. That's why we get zero voltage drop across diode. Next is source current IS. Here I naught is equals to IS because this diode is short circuited that's why we get this source current is is equals to i naught now what is current across freewheeling diode i told you that when positive half cycle is applied then this freewheeling diode is acting as reverse bias and during reverse bias current across freewheeling diode is zero because it acts as open circuit so during this period current across freewheeling diode is zero that's why we get zero here okay and this supply current is equals to this output current okay from zero to pi the supply current is equals to output current okay now what is power p naught we know that p naught is equals to v naught i naught and we know that from zero to pi this i naught is positive 
this V naught is positive that's why we will get P naught greater than 0 or we can say that from 0 to pi power is delivered from source to load now after pi this source voltage Vs reverses or we can say that this source voltage becomes negative but current I naught is still positive and we get this positive current up to beta why we get positive current up to beta this is due to this inductance L we get output current I naught till these two areas A and B becomes equal this concept has already been told to you in my previous lecture now see when polarity of voltage reverses after pi then what happens we get polarity across the source voltage like this so when polarity reverses then this positive potential reach the anode of this freewheeling diode and on getting this positive potential this freewheeling diode get forward bias and we know that during forward bias diode act as short circuit so when this is short circuited then this current I naught gets shifted from main diode to this freewheeling diode or we can say that this free will, this output current freewheels in this loop or we can say that this output current freewheels through this resistance R this inductance L and this freewheeling diode so what happened when this current shifted to this loop then no current will flow across this main diode and we get source current is equals to zero here we can see in this waveform that from pi to beta I naught is positive while source current is zero so we can conclude here that for this rectifier circuit with freewheeling diode source current is not equals to output current this is very important and Another important point for this rectifier circuit is if we choose R and L in such a way that we make the beta greater than 2 pi then continuous conduction mode is possible okay because this beta depends upon the value of this resistance R and L so if we make this beta greater than 2 pi then we get waveform like this okay so we can clearly see that continuous conduction mode is possible in this case now we will see advantages of freewheeling diode we know that without freewheeling diode we get waveform of output voltage like this so without freewheeling diode this output voltage has this negative part due to this negative part what happens average value of output voltage decreases because net positive area decreases and also from pi to beta what happens this V naught was negative and this I naught was positive that's why we get P naught negative and this P naught negative means energy fed back to source from pi to beta but if we use freewheeling diode then this negative part get eliminated when this negative part get eliminated then net positive area increases or when net positive area increases it means average value of output voltage increases or we get output always positive okay second advantage is is it continuous conduction is possible in case of freewheeling diode third is we know that p naught is equals to v naught average into i naught average so if V0 increases, V0 average increases, then P0 also increases. Or we can say that system efficiency increases. And last advantage is we know that to calculate the power factor we use this equation in which this is input power and this is output power. Now power factor is directly proportional to V0 average. So as this V0 average increases, then power factor also improves so these are the advantages of freewheeling diode 
Now we can easily understand the operation of circuit from pi to beta. From pi to beta this I0 current continues to flow in positive direction. So we get I0 greater than 0. But this I0 gets shifted from this main diode to this freewheeling diode. And I0 flows from pi to beta in this loop. That's why we get Is is equals to 0. And what is output voltage V0? When this current is shifted in this loop, then we can see that this short circuited diode is in parallel with load. That's why due to this short circuit, we get V0 is equals to 0. Now what is drop across diode? Because current is shifted from main diode to freewheeling diode, that's why current across this diode is 0 or it, it acts as open circuit. During open circuit, this whole reverse voltage that is Vs, the supply voltage appear across this main diode. That's why diode voltage is equals to supply voltage. And what is current across freewheeling diode? This output current from pi to beta start flowing in across this freewheeling diode. That's why this part of output current will appear across freewheeling diode. So, here we can see that this part of current is this and it appears across freewheeling diode and source current Is is equals to 0 and drop across diode is equals to Vs because diode main diode is open circuit and this output voltage V0 is 0 due to freewheeling diode. So these are the waveforms from pi to beta. Now after beta what happens? After beta this current I0 becomes 0. Okay, because at beta these two areas A1 and A, area A and B get equal. So we get I0 is equals to 0. Diode continues to be open circuited. Okay, and output voltage V0 is equals to 0 because I0 is 0. And what is Vd? Drop across diode will be equals to Vs or we can say that supply voltage appear across this open circuited main diode. Okay, and we can also get it by applying KVL in this loop. If we apply KVL then we will get Vd is equals to Vs. What is source current Is? Is is equals to 0. Current across freewheeling diode as this output current becomes 0 that's why no current we will get in freewheeling diode and what is output power output power is zero because v naught and i naught both are zero so here we can see that output current becomes zero after beta v naught also becomes zero this diode voltage vt this negative half cycle of sinusoidal wave appear across this diode okay and what is source current source current is zero and what is current across freewheeling diode? When output current becomes zero, then current across freewheeling diode also becomes zero. So this is all about this lecture. I hope you really like the video. Thank you. Jai Shyam. If you got the knowledge and concepts from this video, then please like the video and subscribe the channel. You can give your views and ask any questions related to this topic in comment box. Also share this video with your friends because sharing is caring. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my upcoming videos. Thank you.